Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about CT scan of hemorrhagic stroke. We will compare the normal image of the brain with hemorrhagic stroke or intracerebral hemorrhage images. This is an axial view, non-contrast image of the brain. These are the anterior horns of lateral ventricles. This structure here is the caudate nucleus. This structure is the quadrigeminal cistern. And posterior to that is the cerebellar vermis. The image on the right shows a hemorrhagic stroke. A large, hyperdense, bright structure is seen within the brain. It is hyperdense because these areas are filled with clotted blood. A clotted blood has high density, so it appears brighter. This hyperdense area is usually surrounded by low density fluid. This is edema. This area is the edema. In the normal image, this central line is the falx cerebri. And this part of the brain is the frontal lobe. And these structures are the bodies of lateral ventricles. And this is another image of intracerebral hemorrhage. We can see the hyperdense area as well as the surrounding edema. But there is another feature here. It is called the swirl sign. The swirl sign is the name given to areas of mixed density within the hemorrhage. It is a combination of hyperdense and hypodense areas, basically heterogeneous areas within the hemorrhage. The lower density areas are due to active bleeding, which is the unclotted blood, and the high density areas are clotted blood. This mixture of clotted and unclotted blood can be seen in some hemorrhages. The low density areas indicate active and ongoing bleeding. It is more likely to have a worse outcome. Prognosis is very poor in this situation. If a hematoma is large enough, it can cause mass effect, which is the compression and distortion of nearby brain structures, such as the ventricles. Here you can see the ventricle is compressed because of the hemorrhage. It is a sign of increased intracranial pressure. This is another image of intracerebral hemorrhage showing the swirl sign. These low density areas and heterogeneous areas are present within the hyperdense hemorrhage. This type of appearance is the swirl sign. Mass effect is also present. The ventricle is compressed at this point. This is another image showing the swirl sign. We can see low density and heterogeneous areas within the hyperdense hemorrhage. These are coronal images of the brain. In this image of intracerebral hemorrhage, swirl sign is present. A low density area is surrounded by some heterogeneous areas, indicating active and ongoing bleeding. Because the hemorrhage is large, mass effect has occurred. This mass effect has caused a midline shift. Midline shift is the deviation of the brain's midline structures 
from their normal central position. This is the midline and due to the hemorrhage, the ventricles have shifted to the opposite side. There is a slight deviation from their normal location. It is caused by increased pressure from the accumulating blood forcing brain tissue to move across the midline towards the opposite side. The midline shift also has very poor prognosis. A black hole sign is the name given to a well-defined hypodense area within a hyperdense hemorrhage. A dark, well-defined area will be seen within the hemorrhage. It is not surrounded by heterogeneous areas. Usually it is oval in shape. The dark area is surrounded by the bright hemorrhage. It resembles a black hole. The black hole sign and the hemorrhage must have a difference of at least 28 ounce field unit. This is another image showing the black hole sign. We can see a well defined hypodense area within a hyperdense hemorrhage. This is another image showing the black hole sign. We can see some well defined hypodense areas within the hyperdense hemorrhage. The hypodense areas are surrounded by the hyperdense hemorrhage, so that is why it is termed the black hole sign. A bland sign can also appear in some hemorrhages. It is a mixed density hematoma consisting of a hyperdense area right next to a hypodense area. There will be a well defined border or interface between the hyperdense and hypodense areas. This type of appearance is called the blend sign. These two regions must have a difference of at least 18 Hounsfield unit. This is another case of intracerebral hemorrhage showing the blend sign. A hyperdense area is right next to a hypodense area and we have a distinct boundary between these two areas and these two regions must have a difference of at least 18 Hounsfield unit. Satellite sign is the term given to this type of appearance in which there is a large primary hematoma and there is a small hyperdense area that is separate from the main hematoma. This bright area is separate from the larger hematoma. This small area should be less than 10 millimeters in diameter and the distance between the main hematoma and the smaller hematoma should not be more than 20 millimeters. The smaller hematoma should not be present in subarachnoid space or ventricles. This is another case of intracerebral hemorrhage showing the satellite sign. A small separate hyperdense hematoma is present next to a larger hematoma. These are contrast enhanced images of the brain in coronal view. A spot sign is seen in hemorrhagic stroke in a contrast enhanced image. One or more spots of contrast enhancement are seen within an area of acute intracerebral hemorrhage. The bright spot is seen during the arterial phase of contrast administration. 
This bright spot is another indicator of active bleeding within the hematoma. The density of the enhanced spot should be greater than twice that of the hemorrhage with a radio density of at least 120 Hounsfield unit. Midline shift is also present. We can see deviation of the midline structures of the brain towards the opposite side. This is another case showing the spot sign. These are contrast enhanced images. We can see a hyperdense bright spot within the hemorrhage during the arterial phase. This is the spot sign. Island sign is a term given to three or more small hematomas separate from the main hematoma. This larger hematoma is the main primary hematoma and we see three smaller hematomas nearby. This type of appearance is the island sign. Here is another image showing the island sign. Three small hematomas are seen next to a large primary hematoma. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.